here is the thumbnail for the video. So, how's it going? Have you made a decision? Yep! Let's team up to tackle the darkness! Okay. Then take this. Again, the puzzles are like, getting longer. It's called the Bokuso Box. I found it in the Dainichi Mikoshi when I was looking for a solution. Actually, the Dainichi Mikoshi was where I found the method and tools for the Sento ceremony. Lucky I can read human writing. Uh, why wouldn't you be able to? Or did you mean it's lucky that you can read the ancient Enkanamian script? Oh, uh... Nothing. I just meant the script in the Deep Sea Healing Arts Compendium. I don't actually know if it's ancient or modern. Never mind all that. Let's get back to business. The Bokuso Box collects light. It can dispel the darkness from the void within a small radius. So, for example, with the power of the Bokuso Box, you can turn monsters affected by the darkness back into their original forms. As it happens, there are some monsters causing trouble around the camp. Go and try out the Bokuso box on them. I will join you shortly. Emerge! You bet! We were the ones who went and got the Blood Branch Coral that one time, after all! <gasps> you! Uh -oh. So, you... Uh-oh, she looks angry. Uh, what's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. <sighs> if what you say is true, then I'm sure you'll be able to conquer the Three Border Towers quite easily. Also... There are a few things I need to explain to you. According to what I have read, the fundamental purpose of the Watatsumi Goryo Matsuri is to use the Serpent God's life force to awaken its second familiars, the Senga Koralia. They are creatures that break down raw, primitive elemental energy into the milder elemental energy of the human realm. The giant coral is a symbol that the Senga Koralia have been awakened by the serpent's blood. The mass awakening of the Senga Koralia causes a transformation in the ecological environment of Enkonomiya. Makes sense. Even if you took away the darkness and the monsters, Enkonomiya would still look pretty different now with all the new plants and ore around. Things are even more complicated than usual this time. The darkness from the Void Realm seems to be suppressing things in the Light Realm and the Human Realm, causing them to come to a standstill. You may need to use the power of the Bokuso box to dispel the darkness and allow the ecological transformation to continue. Please, try to solve the problem using the Bokuso box. I'll wait for an update for you under the statue over there. It seems that you have mastered the Bokuso box. Now, let me tell you about the ultimate purpose of this operation. As I said, we need to proceed to the three towers on Inkonomiya's borders. They're towers of the void, restored to their original form by a certain Abyss Adherent. Abyss Adherent? Wait, do you mean... He's a purveyor of incessant nonsense. Somehow he found out about the three realms and the three corners, and brought those things in using Abyssal technology. Then, he started disseminating abyssal energy using the towers. 
This caused great suffering for both the Senga Coralia and the Bethysmal Bishops. I don't know why he's doing this. For us, the Abyss is highly toxic. For them, intoxicating is more the word. Addictive, but still destructive. Maybe he just likes to toy with people and stab them in the back. Paimon knows exactly who you're talking about. And Joe. You know him? Hm. Then it seems we have a common enemy. Oh, you bet we do! To get rid of the darkness, you need to climb to the very top of the Towers of the Void and activate the Light Realm Chisel, which will let in the energy of the Light Realm. In Enkanomiya, the Ley Lines of the Human Realm, the Elemental Currents of the Light Realm, and the Dark Currents of the Void Realm are all exceptionally strong. Also, I only performed the Sento Ceremony going off the steps in the book, but I believe the key to the ceremony is the statue in front of us. You can offer crystals of Light Realm energy to it to increase the Bokuso Box's power. Also, resting here can restore the Box's energy. Please, take this hand-drawn map. I've marked out the locations of the three towers for you. You'll need to explore one step at a time, and I'd recommend you start with this tower. Well, that's as much help as I can offer you. I'll be waiting here for the good news. Okay, so I collect the rest of the results that I did. I hope so. Wait, they actually asked for the flower too? Uh, I really have to collect them. Okay. Okay, the last one is... Oh, come on, I have to de defeat those things too. Okay, this is gonna be a event that I really have to grind for before you come. All set! Now we can climb on up! Huh? I have a friend? Okay, just a second, guys. Huh? Yeah, I made it. Oh. The first one is done! But the abyssal energy that was released when the towers connected doesn't seem to be disappearing. The darkness is infiltrating the land and causing changes in the surrounding area. We should go check it out if we have time. Okay. Aloha, guys. So I collect enough stuff to maybe have enough to co go further for the story i'm not sure what's gonna happen i didn't explore anything major i explored here so wait why this why there is free space here I... wait when i are you kidding me <laughs> so actually when i up Actually, upgrade this. This actually cleans out automatic. Huh. Okay, I didn't expect that. So next one is the one right here. So 
I think I remember one teleportation. Okay. That must be the clue we're looking for. Um, it looks like some parts are missing. What parts? <laughs> no match for Paimon's greatest power. Process of elimination. Most humans could have the entirety of their fleeting lives chronicled in but a few short lines. Their stories really make for terribly dull reading. Another tower complete. Don't you think I will try to do this? Okay, I'm back again. So, I collect what I can. I rank that uh, statue to 11. And, yeah, I discovered that the husks are not in very rare to find. I, they are literally at the corner of the totem. So, yeah, I don't need to find those. So I guess I collect enough stuff, enough points, so I guess we... It's up to see how I'm gonna survive the final part. 
There's no way to teleport And now to climb this. I can tell. It looks like all three towers have been successfully taken care of. The evacuation is now going much more quickly, thanks to the improved environmental conditions. Most of the soldiers have gotten out. But it seems like something happened that I hadn't foreseen. Please, come with me. What now? There's darkness churning inside the Dainichi Mikoshi! Logically speaking, all of Enkanomiya should be back to normal by now. Unfortunately, this place has now become the most dangerous of all. I don't know why this is happening or what to do about it. But what I can tell you is the location of the guy behind all of this. I'm going to have to ask you to confront him and make him reveal his whole plan. 
How did this happen? I've been observing the flow of the darkness and I noticed something peculiar. And there was a faint vortex continuously absorbing the darkness. I can only assume that the flow must be triggered by his need for abyssal energy. He's extremely dangerous. Even most bishops would be no match for him. Music to my ears. Thank you. If I have deduced correctly, he should be in the library area right now. Of course, where we first met. Ravens time. It's him! Yep, our good old friend Angel, or what he's called. Oh, hey. I would say this is a nice surprise, but it's really not that surprising. Look at you, venturing out into the darkness, doggedly fighting your way through just to come and see me. I don't know about you guys, but this is like my favorite NPC. Too sad that we have to kill him. You're the only person I can think of who could actually pull that off. Still, what's with you joining forces with them? Didn't expect that. What do you mean? What are you planning? Again, I really like the design of these abyss looks. You're just trying to stall for time with small talk again! Huh. I guess maybe you're not so clued up after all. Uh, look, I understand that seeing me has gotten you a little agitated, but frankly, the fact that you're still so fired up and raring to go after the long journey here is a bit of a problem for me. So, let's burn off that excess energy with a little exercise, huh? Just to calm you down enough to hear me out. Right here. Emerge. Right now. Let's dance. See? Huh? Power of higher pants on fire. Unleash. Shoot. Shoot. By ordinance divine. Huh. 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 Emerge. Oh. Oh. Right here. Yeah. Right now. Uh, dear me. Emerge. I'm always watching. Ah! Huh. Yeah. No. I'll protect us. Come on. We can do it. Stop, stop. Oh, my life is flashing before my eyes. That woman with the slender pupils, w what does she call herself? Huh? How do you know about her? Her name, what is it? Huh. She calls herself Sumi. That reptilian seems to be doing a pretty good job of human imitation. Well, I guess he's confirmed. She's just an ape people. Makes sense, doesn't it? The Bethysmal Bishops are a highly intelligent and fast-evolving kind. There have been legends about this for over a thousand years now. The Bishop people. Bishop people? Huh. Sounds like the kind of nickname Paimon comes up with all the time. Well, this one comes from an old Enconomian legend. When the Bethysmal Bishops were defeated, they began evolving to survive. That is to say, they imitated the victors. 
Eventually, this gave rise to a line of bishops who were indistinguishable from humans except for their pupils. These were the bishop people. The story goes that they gradually infiltrated in Kanomiya and took over many high-ranking positions. Hmm. But my man, I thought he's gonna say that except for the face, like that is not a mask, but I guess... Remind you of anyone? We did hear that Sumi's pupils are vertical. Yep. In good lighting, you can see that Reptile's pupils are thin, vertical lines. That's hard evidence that she's betrayed you right there. But she's been helping us. She is just using you to get revenge on me. I mean, I betrayed them first. I formed an alliance with the bishops. I said I'd plunge all of Enkanomiya into darkness so they could send their elites into the Dainichi Mikoshi and rescue their captive kin. In return, they'd allow the Abyss Order safe passage through their territory and help me rebuild the Three Towers. But they didn't know that the darkness of the Abyss was a terrible poison to elemental beings. So, they thought you had betrayed them? I mean, I totally did betray them. To be fair, it'd be pretty humiliating for the Abyss Order if we unleashed the power of the Abyss on them and they were just frolicking around with no side effects. Again, my favorite NPC. Can we keep him? You are pure evil! Well, here's where we are now. Once she's done with you, she'll use the power of the Dainichi Mikoshi to suppress the Sanga Coralia and create darkness to protect the bishops. They are probably diving down into the depths to rescue their imprisoned companions as we speak. It won't be long before the source of Blood Branch Coral is completely cut off. Uh, poor Bethismal bishops. But still. If you still want to save Watatsumi Island, you're gonna have to hurry. You can use the mechanism I left behind to guide the light and dispel the darkness in the Dainichi Mikoshi. We don't believe a single word that comes out of your mouth! Oh, come on, guys. Do you honestly have another choice? This is just another fruitless trip to Enkonomiya for me at this point, but... No biggie. I'm just a marginal figure in the order. Unlike those who are falling over themselves to serve our highness, I'm interested in more inconsequential things. Ooh, yikes. I think I'm all out of time here. I'd better go. I would say, see ya, but I probably won't. Here, I've got a parting gift for you. It's something I picked up at the Dainichi Mikoshi. <laughs> look, look, he freezes. <laughs> Again, my favorite NPC. This looks like part of the same set as the one that Kokomi gave us. Uh, wait, now's not the time for that. Oh, Paimon's so angry, he got away again. Can't trust that guy, even if he sounds like he's making sense. So, let's go back to Tsumi and ask her about all this. 